Hello YouTube and welcome to another 3D Rust tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do custom input mapping in Unreal Engine 4. This is useful if you want to have a key update dynamically for a certain action, let's say to fire a gun. You want to be able to update that, say if you want to change it. As soon as you change it in one area it will dynamically update in every blueprint you've got. So let's get started. So I've just started a sample first person template. So just go up to edit, project settings. Then you want to go down to input under the engine tab. And then under action mapping, just hit the plus here. I'm just going to call this hello. And I'm going to set it to the E key. So I'm just going to type in E on here and search for the E key. There it is. So now we'll just close that. And now for open my level blueprints. So just go to blueprints, open level blueprint. So if I right click and now type in hello, which is what we're called the key, we'll see action events hello. So when the key that was set as hello in the project settings, when that's pressed, I'm just going to print a string for the purpose of the tutorial. This will just print hello in the top left corner of our screen. So when I compile that and save, when I play the game now and I press E, you'll see it says hello in the top left corner. Keep pressing it and we'll get loads of hellos. So now if we just go back to our project settings, Go back to input and we decide to change our hello key to F. You can also set multiple keys on here by clicking the plus, the plus button here. So if we say the F key, we'll change our left key. Now we'll click play. We'll hit the E key, it won't do anything, but when we press F, you'll see we'll get hello on the top left. So this is much better than having the just a standard F key here like that because once you've got multiple areas F say F key here and we want to do something else then we'll have to change this key and this key but if we've got an input action we can just change the key in our project settings so yeah, that's how you do custom input mapping in Unreal Engine 4. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to 3D Ross on YouTube. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.